through the Associate Onboarding Workshop. Create a lasting connection with your new team members and help them live the USANA lifestyle. Here's your host, Nathan Schooley. Welcome to Associate Onboarding. Get your new associates started right. Be ready to build your solid foundation for success in business with Helen Jung and Arabelle Ramboyong. Throughout Arabelle's life, she's always had a curious personality with a natural appetite to continuously learn new things. And Arabelle has used this curiosity to create a dynamic business. She's a firm believer in learning the basics, which makes the next steps easier to execute when building your business. An adventure enthusiast, home chef, wellness coach, dog mom, and co-founder of West International, Arabelle is committed to helping people achieve and grow. Learn how you think, not what to think, is her motto. And she's excited to share her message of success with you. An inspiring speaker, Arabelle uses compelling and inspirational stories to break down the barriers to success. Helen Zhang, following graduation from university, gained her work experience at a series of Australian companies. Very quickly, she realized this wasn't the life for her. Helen was committed to working for herself and building a life for her family. Since joining USANA nine years ago, Helen has created a successful business from her Los Angeles home. Now, she has the time and resources to raise her two children and grow the business of her dreams. Now let's hear from Helen and Arabelle. Hi, I'm Helen. What's up everybody, and I'm Arabelle. Today we're gonna to be talking about getting started right. Getting started right is about a solid foundation to start your USANA business. So whether you're an associate who's been with us for a while now, or a brand new team member, this onboarding process is where we all begin. And you know what? It's helpful to think of this as your toolbox. And as you and your business grows, you'll probably find more tools to add. And I'm so excited to mention the new Getting Started Guide that's available at convention. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> so let's dive right in. Let's go over some basics and set up the foundations for your business. First, it's really important to note down your associate ID. This is the number that is unique to you, and you're going to be using this number to log into the hub, which is our back office at usana.com. Next, have the customer service contact number on speed dial on your phone. It's 888-950-9595. Uh, USANA provides us with this free resource that we can point our customers to, we can point our team members to. And if you have any questions about the products or company, give them a call. Give them a call. Next, set up your auto order. This makes it super convenient to get your products every four weeks and you can get an extra 10% discount on most products. And I love a good discount, right? Yep. Next, set up your direct deposit. I love getting commission from USANA and I love it when it goes directly into my bank account so I don't have to mess with checks. And it's Me super too. convenient. <laughs> And make sure you get connected. USANA, on our, USANA is on most of the major social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram. So get connected and make sure you get the latest updates um, and you know what's going on. And just check because uh, your team probably have their own uh, face, uh, Facebook or social media group uh, as well. So just uh, check and see where that is. Next, download the Customer Connect app. Uh, this is where you can easily find articles and presentation, presentations to send to your prospects. And you can also find and share links, um, which uh, is, makes it super simple to send out to you know, your customers. And it makes just signing up customers and team members super simple. Next, understand the PC order bonus. This is a bonus that helps you sign up. Um, you know, pay our associates who personally sponsor new customers. Uh, it helps you and your team members get paid out super fast when you sign up customers and you get a percentage every time the customer makes a purchase, which to me sounds fantastic. Love the PC order bonus. So once you've got all of those things that Helen mentioned done, let's move on to knowing your why. Like anything else that's worthwhile to have, it it's going to take a journey <laughs> and firmly knowing your why is often the gas that's going to keep the vehicle running, especially during times of most growth. So Jim Rohn once said, when the why is clear, the how becomes easy. And as business owners, you'll most likely 
well, not most likely, you will run into some challenges along the way. So it's helpful to remember your why so you can keep going and stay in an empowered mindset. So how do you do that? Well, let's ask, what are the reasons you signed up? You know, when I coach uh, a new team member or a new associate, I want to find out what their business why and their health why is. And some of my teammates are fathers, and I've heard them say, I'd like to walk my daughters down the aisle of their dream wedding, or I'd love to send my kids to a private school. Some just want to save enough to buy their dream home. And those are their business wise. For some with their health wise, I've heard, I'd like to keep playing the sport well into adulthood. So increasing their health span in addition to their lifespan is really important. Maybe quality of life. Some others want to be able to keep up with their growing children and their daily activities. And others want to be able to run their first marathon. So being optimally healthy either way and knowing both those reasons why is going to empower you. So everyone's got different whys, but you have to know yours from the get-go. And once you know that, I actually think it's really important to reinforce those whys and that strong mindset by asking further high quality questions just so that you can operate from a deeper place. Two examples of those questions are, one, what would it mean to you if you achieved it? Imagine that. Just think about that feeling right now. What would it mean to you if you achieved it? And secondly, maybe on the opposite end of that spectrum, what would life be like if you didn't make it happen? So those are two powerful, deeper questions that will help you add perspective to why you're doing this. So now that we know our why, let's talk about our goals and the hours, because we need to put some structure into what we're building now, right? So what are you willing to do to make it happen? This is simply having a daily, weekly, or monthly plan. Now, the plan is just a framework, and it can always be adjusted. So nothing set in stone. It can also serve as a really good diagnostic tool to go back to in order to produce your desired results. So remember, it's easier to improve something when you can measure it. And doing this, simple as filling out some numbers, when you get a chance, fill out the following to create your framework. Some questions to answer are, what's your short-term and long-term goal? One month, three months, six months? And to get a little more specific, you can talk about or think about income goal, PC order bonus. Maybe you want to add new customers to your organization. And even better, maybe some new teammates <laughs> to your tree. Also, it's also important to have an ongoing health goal. Again, it's important to be a product of the product. So how many business hours can you set aside realistically to work on your business? In addition to those questions, it's also well to think about how to become more of a well-rounded business person. And I think that comes from personal development. What are those things? Reading books, watching some videos, and my new favorite, listening to podcasts. I can pop in some headphones and just listen to that while I'm cooking, which I do often, or maybe running and going for a jog. And uh, that's going to be 10 to 20% of your time, including Things like checking emails and cleaning up your back office, those are your non-revenue generating activities. But where you want to spend most of your time, 80-90% of the time, is going to be on revenue generating activities like prospecting, following up, and inviting. You can, be, you can be inviting to trainings or events, and these could be things that you plug into alone for now where you're growing, or things that you are going to invite other people to as well. Thanks, Arabelle. You know, I totally agree. And getting those numbers down are so important. And when you have those numbers down, you can also use it as a checklist on a daily or weekly or monthly basis just to see, are you on track? Yes. Yeah. And once you have those numbers, now you can start to make your contact list. Making a contact list is a great way to start to visually see what kind of reach you currently have, right? And what a contact list have is just to make a list of everyone that you know. Now, when I tell uh, new team members to do this, what they typically do is they go away and they come back to me and give me a list of five to six people. And I say, surely you must know more people than that. 
And what they're doing is that in their mind, they're pre-qualifying or pre-judging uh, people. And what I mean by that is, you know, they're filtering and thinking, uh, I think this person will buy the product or try the product, or I think this person will, you know, try or be interested in business or not. And I tell them, you know, don't worry about that. Just treat it like a brain dump. Um, and when you get everyone, you know, on the piece of paper or in the list, it doesn't mean you need to talk to every single person. It's just for you to see who you know. And you can even start to write down people who, you know, who does your people know as well. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to see how many people actually ends up on your list. Um, and most people know more people than they think they do. Sure. And when you have all those names down, I tell my team to, you know, always go for the low hanging fruit first. And what do I mean by that? Well, look for the people who are already interested in health and wellness because Usana is a health and wellness company. So, right, the, the more, um, probably more going to be, uh, the more chance of them being interested in what you have to offer. And who are the people who already, uh, are taking supplements. Maybe they're buying supplements from somewhere else, like their local health store, or they're buying them online. And it's just a matter of letting them know, hey, USANA has some really great products that you might have or want to look at. Next, notice the people who on your list who maybe they love building business. They just love business and they love making money. And there are some people who might want to make an extra stream of income and they are great people to talk to as well. And just know that as you know, you grow, this list will always be growing and developing with you. So it's a never ending activity. That's right. That's true. Like um, to this day, my contact list is still growing. And this is a little tip that Helen and I like to share because it's been effective for us. And once you create your contact list, if you could see this slide here, we have our prospect's name. And then as we move along to the right, you see how there's different exposures that are noted. So you wanna basically track what happened during that exposure, during that time. So you can uh, walk them through the next step in a sensible way that makes the most sense for both of you. And that brings us to the next point, which is making an invite. This is where we're reaching out and starting to get some eyes looking at USANA's products and or business opportunity. Now, you can do this on the phone, but what Helen and I have found is that inviting via text message or direct messaging on some form of social media has been most effective and a really popular way to do it. So while you're inviting, a good tip is to be in a hurry. And the reason for that is it's, not, it's a way for you to not have to tell them too much at the inviting stage. Not because you're omitting important information, but rather you want them to receive all the information in the proper manner during the event itself. So think about it. It's not fair to either of you to explain bits and pieces that can be maybe misinterpreted in a lengthy text message conversation anyway. So let's do the message justice by giving them the opportunity, opportunity to see it all and respect them as they come to their own feedback about what they see. Another interesting reason as well is that people are somehow more attracted to busier people <laughs> for some reason, but um, those are our two tips. Next, in the invite, you want to be edifying the tool, the video, the event, or the group. Think of it like a movie. The trailer is the most important part of the movie, right? It gets people to want to buy a ticket and then go catch the flick. <laughs> Exactly. And what we found really helpful is that, you know, it helps to know a little bit about who you're talking to. And what I mean by that is, you know, people and their personalities. So what uh, I like to teach my team about is, you know, forming personality types uh, that we can start to categorize people into. And I know there are more than four personality types, but it really helps to know how to approach someone when you're trying to, you know, tell them about USANA and, you know, what tools you might want to send them because uh, what attracts you to USANA may not be what attracts other people because everyone has different motivators and different desires. So, you know, go over your list and start noticing um, some people might uh, be what I call the influencer types. Uh, these people tend to be 
the life of the party. They love fun and adventure, and they love hanging out with their friends.、Uh, they maybe they like to stand out in the way they dress or their hair or their makeup. So when you're talking to influencer personality types,、uh, you know some things you can mention are you know when you、uh, join Usana, you are part of a community and you can meet lots of new friends and you're building a business for yourself. But you're with a team, you're not alone, and it's a lot of fun. And there's a lot of events that we can go to, like convention every year,、uh, which is just like a huge party. And Usana has some really great travel incentives. And what's better than going traveling with a group of like-minded friends? The second personality type is、uh, what we call supporter personality types. These are the people who loves to help other people, support other people. And they just might place other people's needs before their own. So when you're talking to supporter personality types, some things that you might want to mention are, you know, Usana is all about helping other people with the health as well as your own, and it's about helping others to build a Usana business if that's what they want to do. And when you help other people, you help yourself as well. And you can also mention the Usana Foundation, where you know、uh, hungry children are being fed, and it, the foundation is helping so many people that are in need around the world. The next personality type is the driver. So the driver personality types they love talking about goals and achievements, what their mission is, and their natural leaders, and they love to know where the money, you know, where the money is. Show them where the money is. Be direct. Show them exactly how the business works and what the income potential is in a Usana business, and how Usana might be,、uh, you know, a great vehicle to help them achieve their goals. The next personality type, and the fourth, is the analyzer personality type.、Uh, the analyzers love data. They love research. They love facts and figures. So you might want to talk a little bit about the science behind the Usana products. The patented、uh, intelligence technology, and we have a we have a lot of third party that verifies the quality of our products, like ConsumerLabs.com. The fact that we have over forty five hundred professional athletes on the Usana products, and Usana is the official partner of、um, many different sporting associations. So,、uh, some resources that I like to point analyzers to is AskTheScientists.com,、uh, and the fact that you know Usana is a publicly traded company, and they can find a lot of information. About、uh, Usana as a company, right? And I, it's really important to、um, that you mention that Helen, because knowing your audience can come in really handy, and it's a skill that you develop along the way. So if you don't feel like you've have you have that down just yet, don't worry, you will later on. But if for the time being, if you don't know their personality type, a really good way to、uh, really. Good way to invite them is to just ask them simply for their feedback, and I really like this because it's a low impact invite. And whether or not they say yes or no to it, you're detached to that anyway. But asking them for their feedback is a really good go to in the beginning.、Um, next, the last tip about inviting is to invite with good energy, because <laughs> nobody likes to get invited to something that's not exciting, right? So remember that. That it, inviting is, is a lot about energy as well, which brings us to our next point, and that's starting to share. <laughs> and it's natural for most of us to already recommend and promote a certain product or service that we love to others. Sharing Usana products and its business opportunity is made easy through the Customer Connect app that Helen mentioned earlier. If you've got a friend or a prospect that you believe would benefit from learning more. You can use the links in the app and have that info do most of the explaining for you. All you have left to do is answer any remaining questions they have, and then you can sensibly help them move on to the next step. So, what should you do? First, get the app on your phone. So, download that. Next, sign in using your associate ID and password. Then, import your contacts, and then you can actually take advantage of. Finding the Ask the Scientist articles, presentations, and my favorite, to be honest with you, are the product links. Everything is a click away. In addition to that, you also can find a direct enrollment link so that when people sign up as a PC or an associate, they're automatically entered into your organization. Now, to me, 
This is how you truly start leveraging the Wi-Fi as a mobile business. I love the fact that I can do almost everything from my phone. That means I can be anywhere. I can be at the park with my kids and build my business as well. It's fantastic. So let's have a little talk about the PC order bonus. This is a great bonus offered by USANA and allows you to start earning money for your recommendations right away. So when you sign up a new preferred customer, you can earn 10% of that sales volume points in cash and 70% of the volume will roll up. And every time that the customer makes uh, purchases after that, you continue to earn the 10% bonus and 70% of the volume will continue to roll up. Now, to get more information on this, I would go to the hub and read up a little bit more about this. Uh, let me give you an example right now. So if I sign up Arabelle, let's say Arabelle as a customer and she, you know, she buys a health pack, it is a hundred sales volume points and I would get 10% of that in cash, which is about $13 and 70 points will roll up into my business. From then on, um, because Arabelle loves the products, which I know she will, uh, every time she continues to make purchases, I will continue to get that 10% bonus and 70% of those points will roll up into my business. That's fantastic. Like the PC order bonus, I love because it really does help people start earning right off the get-go, you know? So that's all we have for you guys today, but we've got one thing left and we wanted to share, decide to share this with you guys because it's the fortune is in the follow-up. <laughs> Just don't forget that. Know that it can take anywhere from three to nine exposures before someone signs up or purchases a product. So following up and getting their questions answered is very important. Keep track of your discussion on your contact list, whether you're going to invite them to another event, have a chat, or lead them to another tool. It's a good way to know where you're at with that prospect so that you can serve them best. Agree, and I just think about how many times I need to see an ad uh, before I actually click into it and find out more and just check it out, right? I think it's human nature. So if you feel like, you know, you need to go over any of the points that Arabelle and I covered, again, you can go back and watch this video and you can also download the new Getting Started Guide that's available at convention and it's got everything in there. And just remember, Every successful person you see in USANA, maybe some people who are speaking at a convention, maybe you see some people going up on stage and getting awards. Just remember, they all started out where you are right now. And it ties it all together because even though we talked about getting started today, it's not completely about how you start, but it's how you finish. So that's it, guys. Enjoy the rest of convention. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Arbal. We wish you the best of luck and... We'll catch you later. See ya. This has been a general access session. For more exclusive content,